Rakesh, you are so different. What is so different about me, dear? You never speak ill about anyone from the camp. You always respect the suggestions of others. And you never sulk. You simply rock, Uncle Yesh. Thank you, dears, for your kind words. The word of God is the secret of what I am. Hey, is anyone in the mood for a parable? Yes, we are. Jesus was proclaiming the message of the kingdom in different cities. One day, he was telling the people about the greatness of John Baptist, the same person who had baptized him and called him the Lamb of God. Truly, I tell you, among those born of women, no one has risen greater than John the Baptist. Let anyone with ears listen. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. Huh? Who's Jesus comparing to little children? Jesus was of course referring to the people of that time. But Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. So is his word. So this parable is applicable to us too, right Uncle Yesh? Yes, Joshua. Even today, we can be hard-headed and not care to listen to the good news of Jesus. Many of us are more bothered about finding faults with the preacher, not with what he's saying at present. So what is Jesus trying to say in this parable? Jesus is cautioning us to be open to the voice of God, whether it is pointing out what is good or what is bad in us. He points out that when John came with his message of repentance, there were some learned people who refused to believe him. They did not practice what they preached. Are we acting like that? Yes, Uncle Yesh. The people who preach to us also act that way. We cannot judge them all to be like that, dear. Unfortunately, many of us are not serious about the message of Jesus today. Some of us treat Jesus like a shopkeeper who will supply them their needs whenever they want something. When asked about their faith, they then blame the church and the preachers for their lack of it. You are right, uncle. Then what should we do? Remember, children, each one of us will stand before God individually. Our parents, siblings, or priests for that matter will not answer for us. So focus on opening your heart to God. What does Jesus refer to when he speaks about playing the flute? Well, there Jesus is referring to himself. He came with a hope-filled message, eating with sinners to show them that God has not abandoned them. But many of the people responded by calling him a fool. I think we all ought to avoid being childish and be open to receive God's discipline the same way we receive his approval. You are right, Esther. That is exactly what Jesus wants us to do. In fact, he uses the parable to stress that there are some people that ignore God's messengers rather than change the way they live. Whether heaven delivers the message with hard words or soft words, our attitude remains the same. We simply refuse to submit to God. But we are ready to listen to Jesus. Come then, let us ask God to help us hear his voice clearly. Let us surrender ourselves to him and ask him the grace to accept his love and discipline.